how's the preparation going? Do you feel like this week for Hawaii? It's been pretty good. Um, I thought today was a, a good practice. It was better than yesterday, and we got some good work in. I thought that was a good day, a good day of practice. Hawaii defensively, what kind of scheme do they play, and what have you noticed about them? Multiple like? fronts, uh, both odd and even. They bring a lot of pressure. They're not afraid to challenge you. They'll play man coverage. They'll play. Uh, they'll blitz uh, quite a bit, particularly when you're going in in red zone, and very active, very active up front. What does Nate mean to this offense, and do you think you guys missed him more than maybe people realize on, on Saturday? Oh, we missed anybody that's a starter that's out. You know, there's a reason he was a starter, and so uh, you, you missed their, their ability. But Nate's got great leadership. He can play every position, and you know he has the ability to make plays, and he understands our scheme. I mean, Nate can – he helps coach the guys. but And he helped Saturday, but it's good to have him back. You've mentioned attitude a lot. Does it make it easier to correct things when attitude is right? Right. Like you not oh sure, yeah. Not you know, there's not really a. They don't really have much of a choice. I mean, they got to have a good attitude, or if they don't, at least fake it. You know, but our guys have had a, a, a great attitude. Uh, they've had a great attitude uh, all summer and all all camp. So I'm encouraged by that. Now we just got to uh, take it to another level as far as uh, working on their craft, whether it's in the weight room or the film room, the things outside the times that are mandatory that they uh, need to do on their own. You talked a lot on um, Saturday and also Monday about tackling. Have you guys done anything different or yeah, we tackled, more this week? Too? Yeah, a little bit more, I think. I think it's been a point of emphasis for a few weeks now, but I think uh, Coach Yates and the defense have done even more in the, uh, on Tuesdays and on Tuesday and Wednesday. Is there any particular message to the players about it? Like you need no, to do this, well, that? Well, there's fundamental you? things about bringing your feet and, and taking the right angles. It's just work. I mean, it's just got to get working on it. How much less hitting do you do in practice now than say 20 years ago when you were coaching? Uh, it's probably quite a bit. Uh, we've never been a, once a game start, a big hitting team throughout the week. We always were pretty physical on Tuesday, semi-physical on Wednesday, and that was the only days. You know, now Tuesday is pretty physical. Wednesday today was a little bit more uh, than, than normal, but we're still in shorts. We're not in full pads. And as the season goes along, we'll be full pads only one day and Tuesdays. Just, we just get, you get guys banged up and you don't have time to recover. And it's, uh, it's a tough deal. I'd like to be full pads probably both days, but when you, when you don't have depth or you have injuries, it kind of hinders that a little bit. Did Sonny modify the Hawkins specifically for this? Yeah, week? they're working on it now. They, they, uh, He's been working on Sunday has for, for a long time, but they're taking five or ten minutes now on their own. Sunday's going to try to teach it. I don't know where it's at right now as far as ready to go, but he's working on it. So we will see it this weekend. I don't know. Did you ever uh, talk to the conference about some of those yeah. issues? Yeah, I tried to get clarification, and obviously uh, the, the targeting calls were close, but uh, they thought that uh, yeah, obviously they'll stand and keep up. And then the, the thing about the defensive – uh, delay a game, I think that's up to interpretation weekly, which still, I didn't really get a lot of clarification on that. They said we got to talk to officials every week, which I don't know, it's got like week for week, you got to, it's a different deal. So I don't, I'm not sure about that yet. Will that change? Well, I don't know what the crews have been, but when you get into Pac 12 play and it's all Pac 12 officials, would it, would everyone know, sort had, of be on the same page? We had, at a that different, point? we had a different interpretation of it when we had them for scrimmages than we did in the game. So, who knows what it's going to be week for week. What do you want to see out of Brandon or whoever plays quarterback this week? Well, you know, the, the simple word, coach speak, is execution. It, you know, not the guys, they'll play hard and they've got some talent, but the execution has to be there. And that's, you know, matching the play calls and them seeing the field and, and being right with their eyes and their footwork and their technique and all that kind of stuff. And they're capable, they're capable of playing at a high level and, and uh, we're going to keep working to do that.